How you guys doing on this fine evening? It's a beautiful day in Ohio. Sun's out, it's hot. Today, I'm gonna be doing an alternator swap on the truck here. So I'm gonna show you how to, maybe you don't know, maybe you've done one before. Uh, this is how I'm going to do it, and this is how I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't know how to do it. If you do know how to do it, maybe you just watch this because you're bored. But here we go. I'm going to show you what a bad alternator looks like. I'm going to show you how to take that off, how to put a new good one on, how to connect it, and make sure it's running and working right. So here's our bad alternator. Now, at first glance, you know, it just looks like a regular alternator. Don't mind the coolant leak. Um, but a closer inspection, this bolt coming out and it doesn't thread in at all. doesn't matter how tight you get it. Also, not a good sign. So the alternator is separating due to the fact that this bolt will not go in. Uh, look, it'll go in. It just doesn't catch threads. So I've tried everything squeeze this together try to catch threads on this it's not working so as this as the belt drives the alternator it's separating and shaking and sitting here and sparking i was trying to time this thing the other day and uh it was sitting there just throwing sparks i was like wow this is going to catch on fire so i went ahead and i got a new alternator and i was dumb and didn't look before i bought it and i got a two 2V belt um, pulley instead of one. And they even asked me, so I should have checked, but that's my fault. Doesn't matter though, still fits, still works. So this is a brand new one, straight from yours truly, AutoZone. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna show you how to take this belt off, take the alternator, unbolt it from the brackets and actually pull it off. Disconnect all the wiring and the connectors and uh, put it back on tension the belt and get it to run and work So in case you didn't know You can fit about two human beings in the engine bay of these old square body trucks. I'm six foot four If that says anything So the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna come around to the back of the alternator Disconnect all the wiring. I already did this one just because I wasn't sure about the bolt size so you're going to take this off. This was, uh, I think I spun it off with a 10 millimeter, but that's not the true size. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than a 10 millimeter, just because it's standard. This one is, uh, I want to, sorry, I want to say this is three eighths. And these just pull off. And then you are ready to take off the bracket bolts that drug go through the water pump. And then I'm climb out of here. Take off the tensioner bolt. And that's it. Once you get this tensioner bolt off, you can take the belt off and uh, start unbolting the alternator, pull it off. So being that this is an old Chrysler product, that tensioner bolt is a half inch and these, uh, bracket bolts are 9 sixteenths. So now I'm going to zap this off and of course it's too long of a distance. Yep. Alright, we'll do stuff the old fashioned way. So once it's loose, push your alternator out of the way. It's built takes tension off and then you can go ahead and hit your bracket bolts really just really just this one I mean that stays there unless you want to move your bracket but So once you go to pull this bolt out, there's going to be this spacer back here that bolts to the cylinder head. Do not drop that or lose it or you will not be able to put your alternator back on. It'll be very hard. 
right there. So when you pull that bolt out, keep in mind that that will be there. Safe space. And then I think this one too, don't lose that one. And in my case, I have a washer. So just make sure you keep, keep track of what is here. Take pictures if you have to. And then when you go to put it back together, it will be there. Put it back together just how it was. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and I'm gonna take this alternator off. Okay guys, alternator is out. Here it is. I'm gonna show you what the inside of an alternator looks like. All right, so here's what the inside of an alternator looks like. Copper wires. It's worth some money. You got all your electrical connections. Your impeller your propeller, your fan. This is what cools your alternator. These fins and these fins. And uh, I'm really, you know, I really don't know much, but um, I'm guessing this surface and this surface making friction charges these copper wires maybe, I don't know and then goes straight through the electrical system to your battery. I have no idea. If someone knows, put it in the comments. I'd like to know. Uh, I just don't know. So let me know how alternators work or let me know how the internals work if you do know. I'd like to know, I appreciate that. But uh, here's the inside of an alternator for anyone who's never seen one. I've never seen one. So yeah, that one's junk. So let's put the new one in. All right, I got all the bolts lined up. We got the spacers in where they should be. Uh, this one goes straight through into the cylinder head, this long one. And then I got the tensioner bolt in there. And now I'm going to slip the belt back on. This first groove. Actually, it might be the second groove. Yeah, first groove. That's straight. Yep, bring that out a little bit. And then, um bring it up to where it's got tension, tighten it up right there, run these bolts in, and then we'll, we'll start it, see if we how it goes. All right, now that I've got my spacers in there, I added some spacers just to level out the uh, belt. Maybe that's what went wrong with the last one, and maybe it shook it apart, or maybe it was just a bad alternator. But here we are, I got this put together, so now I'm about to tension this belt, bring it up to where it's tight, and then I'm gonna leave it right there, and run that bolt down. And I'll get back to you. All right, now we're here at the back of the alternator and we're tasked with plugging in all the electrical connections. And I have to say this is probably the first one you should do just because it's got a nut and a bolt and you should just get it out of the way, you know? And I don't have the socket for this, but you know, well, I don't have it because I took it home to do the drive shaft and never brought it back. So, here I am spinning it on with my finger, like a dimmit, like a dummy. And I'm pretty sure this one went here. This one went here. Maybe it's the other way around. I think it is. Maybe I'll go back and watch the video. Okay, that's plugged in. Now I'm gonna run this down. And then I'm gonna start the truck, see if it works, or see if it dies. We'll, we'll tell, we'll find out. Maybe it runs better, I don't know. All right, here we are, just installed the new alternator. Let's crank her up. I need to tighten the belt a little bit. Okay, I just 
just want to say thank you for watching our video. Uh, this is a quick video how to change an alternator. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me suggestions in the comments of uh, future videos to do. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.